and welcome to ESC Fan TV. Let's start with the Lithuanian unqualies. <laughs> What did you think? I think there were a lot of weird songs. I forgot the names, but like the song with like the two women who were like, I don't know, twins. Sorry, their their lyrics were so weird. I love the sound of a tree when it starts to grow. I never heard a, cr a tree growing. So, but I was like, what the fuck is going on? I think they were all like a little bit weird and stuff. Yeah, what the hell was going on? I love the vest, but all the rest was shit. Well, thank you very much, Aline. That's uh, a treat for everybody. <laughs> Donna, say something nice about somebody. Oh, I, I could actually say something nice about a few of these. Anzela, she she was really good, actually. She was a lot of fun. But I felt she needed a band to complete the set. It looked like a rather large stage for one woman. And then at one point, she was basically doing the uh, Ministry of Silly Walks, wasn't she? Like, with her feet. Da, 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 da. Otherwise, I liked her voice and I liked the song. And then there was the, the hippie girl with the hair that's longer than the one I'm sporting tonight. She was lovely, actually. She remind, Her voice reminded me a lot of the uh, Twinings tea adverts. <laughs> you know, we've heard this style of vocal a lot before. But then when she started off in the gloom and then these dancers suddenly appeared out of nowhere and it looked like they were going into like a zombie-esque thriller, but folk song. It was very strange, but I liked it in a weird way. And the twins, yeah, they, they were something quite bizarre. I think they were twins or possibly sisters, I'm not sure. Rosy red cheeks and that, they're kind of doing like strange doll-esque outfits. Well, me and Phil had rosy red cheeks on the Christmas episode. Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> it was very like that. The rest were... A little bit average. More positive news on the way. Let's go to Brendan. I'll try. Anzuela. I really liked her rough voice. She's a proper rough performer. I think she would have in a band would have complimented the song better. But Sid, here we go again. I thought it was a very sweet song. I thought it, with a bit of work it could do well. My favourite was Maidy Zoo. I thought it was very clever staging. It was very captivating at the start. She had a decent voice. I thought a revamp was all, will definitely be needed for it if any one of them was to go through. I think the others, <laughs> nothing positive to say. I think it's better I don't say much. Well, thank you very much. I mean, you know, you can't like everything. It'd be boring if we all like the same thing. Phil, why don't you tell us your, oh, your crikey. thoughts? Yeah, um, I thought Zoo was a bit slow and... <laughs> A little bit dull. It sort of plodded along, really. Within the night, what do you? I I put I put yay Lithuanian Jedward. It was okay, but it was a bit odd, and I thought the vocals were a little bit <laughs> off in places. I liked but it. It was it yeah. was certainly stood out. I think Mary Mo done. Um, maybe a bit generic. Angela was probably my favourite. The the rock one. Uh, Don't know what she's on about, but we like it. If you mean <laughs> what you're saying, you know. Yeah, San Francisco. I was okay. It was a standard pop song. Sang it well. Maybe a bit repetitive. Maybe the dancing was better than the song. I don't know. Yeah, I just put it was, it was a little bit dated. And Sid Hallow didn't grab me, I'm afraid. Especially the start. You know, he starts off as a dull piano ballad and it took him a while to, to get up. But what about the high note? Um, Nobody's mentioned that. I mean, yeah. it takes a lot to hit that, to be fair, with the pressure it does. on. It does. It sounded to me like he was trying to be Elton John. I'm not sure if he quite managed it or not, really. But that was okay. Sean. What do you think? Oh, don't cry. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> he bloody was. Remind me not to do Lithuania next year. <laughs> um, no, you don't get a choice. <laughs> I can do what I want on my own person. So, okay, right. First of all, Anzela uh, Paskubek. If you look at the lyrics and you decide from in English, the first words of the song are, the road is slippy, the ground is freezing. I'm thinking, well, put some bloody shoes on then. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? She's there, she's barefoot. She's got a powerful voice, but I agree with what Brendan said. I think she needs a band on stage to, to interact with. I don't like how she moved around the stage and her chains on the jacket or anything and taking it off at the end. I thought it might be symbolic. So again, I looked into the lyrics to see if it was and 
no, it, there was nothing that really kind of made sense about it. So I just thought it was a bit weird. Sid, hello, here we go again. <laughs> I think that just about sums it up. <laughs> <laughs> here we go again. Uh, where will this ever end? <laughs> uh, Mead and Zoo. Our people on stage, no shoes. What's going on? What's going on in Lithuania? No shoes. I mean, the, last week they were stuck for a stool. And now they're no shoes. I think it must be budget constraints. They'll all be naked by the time the final comes around. I'm sure yeah, of it. You <laughs> wish. Uh, and also, I think 30 seconds is a bit too long for an intro in a three-minute song because you didn't say it, sing anything until 30 seconds in. San Francisco, not much to say, 80s vibe, mid-tempo song, nothing to stand out. Mary Mo done, just plods along, not keen. And Baltos Varnos in the night. A uh, funky start with all the arm movements and stuff and whatnot, but I just I, I didn't like the vocals. I didn't like the the lyrics. The choruses are all right. I thought the verses were a bit weak. Um, that's about it. Thomas, what do you think? If we start with the positive thing, and Sela, I really like. She reminded me a bit of Kim Wilde, actually, both the music and the, and her appearance. Yet, of course, you can need a band, some good guitar player, a good bass player. Then uh, then she could do all right. Said hello, yeah, as Sean said, here we go again, uh, and that's exactly my thought. My notes for Balsas in the Night, uh, I think it sounded like an old video game. And San Francisco sounded like an old ringtone of, a, of an early Nokia phone. I, I find it a bit boring, so yeah, not the best direction for me. Brilliant, thanks a lot for that. <laughs> well, at least you like some, but you have to remember that these were the ones that didn't qualify, so I mean, not necessarily going to uh, to like them let's go to brendan what did you think of the qualities were they better i don't think so neither no, uh, not one of my top three were with them too so um with uh, be careful, I found it to be a it's more of an eighties club background song. Nice melody, you just ignore it. <laughs> um, I just didn't feel it went anywhere. Um, but she did have a very good voice, so uh, impossible. He completely lost me right from the start. I I really didn't get the slow tempo, and then felt like it was going to go somewhere, and it didn't. It just really confused me with all the mannequins in the background. Thomas might like one of these. Thing again. <laughs> No, they were all right. Uh, the Be Careful song, that song for me is something you listen to in a hotel bar when you're sitting there with a gin and tonic, enjoying the company, enjoying yourself. That's just lounge music. Uh, Shower of the Impossible, the slow parts, he didn't pull it off. When the song picks up the pace, he was better. Two had to go, go through. Aline, I think you definitely will like one of these. I do actually. Yay! Uh, shook. Oh, I like to be careful one just because it was simple, but it was beautiful because it was so simple. And I like to fire rugs. And the dress, yeah, it had bonus points for me. Impossible one. That was boring. Like even the band uh, members thought it was so boring, they almost fell asleep. If you look at their faces, they're all like, I'm standing here. I actually don't want to be here. Like, I thought if you're <laughs> if you're doing a song that maybe go to your vision, like pretend to be happy. I don't know, but like oh, it was so boring. They even hated it. Okay, let's start with uh, "Shower Impossible." Um, I actually quite like it. Shock horror. I know what's going on. Um, I prefer a singing voice. I think rather than the talking, singing, the rapping, or whatever it's supposed to be. I like the musical arrangement of the song. I think I'd just like it to connect to the audience a bit more because it was kind of, with a handheld mic, just going around the stage and just, you know, strolling around. I'd like him to have a mic stand and just make eye contact constantly with the camera and deliver the song. It'd be a bit more intense and a bit more emotional and a bit more believable. But it was a half-decent effort, I thought. I think you're right um, there. I think anything where you're making full eye contact contact at a passionate moment is far more intense. You're right. Yeah, and I think it just needed that maybe to, to bring it to the next level. Uh, be careful. This song starts off well. I like her voice. She's soft and she's sultry. Um, 
But I'd love to see a little, maybe a couple of violinists, uh, you know, on stage with her, maybe a couple of other backing singers, just to sort of bring another element to it. The thing is about that song, for 35 seconds at the end of the song, all she sings is, never be the same, never be the same, never be the same, never be the same. And I timed it, it goes off nearly 35 seconds. And it's just like, they wrote half a song and thought, what should we do now? Let's just repeat this over and over again. And it pissed me off a bit. Mm, it pissed you off, but you've remembered it. Yeah, but I wouldn't listen to it. Sing any other Lithuanian song now from this, from this quali. Um, oh, well, you put me on the spot now, haven't you? No, but there you go, you see, but you've remembered that, so obviously it's worked. Well, I mean, yeah, but it was shit, though. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your genius enlightenment there, Sean. Phil. Would it be better with just him singing rather than a band? Because no, nobody sort of interacting with each other. I mean, you look at, at Maniskin when, when they're playing, they're all interacting with each other as they're playing. You know, there's some sort of lively interaction going on. Whereas there, they just seem to stand there and play their instruments. And um... It sounded to me, for that one, it sounded like, you know, when you've got a song playing, but in the background, you can hear another song playing just faintly. This sounded like that in your head, like there was slightly two songs going off at the same time. But yeah, be careful. Smooth jazz, as I said. Jazz. I like that. It was it was good, sang it well. I don't know if it makes enough of an impact, though. That's the thing with that sort of song. It I has guess. vibes of Monica Duda from the other year, though. Yeah. And but she I, did well in a slinky she, little dress going like that. She did, but it wasn't quite as... as I really as liked I really yeah. liked What did you think of the song? <laughs> it, was, it was all right. It was okay. Donna. Do you like a slinky lady? Oh, yes. Why not? <laughs> yeah, this one did all right, actually. I would have probably put this through myself, but it did remind me a lot of a wedding singer band. And they were kind of just playing in the background, really, themselves. There was a bit more engagement with the audience, I suppose. When done well is great. I don't think it's a Eurovision style that would work well to stand out enough, if that makes sense. It did also, the beginning and the end, though, with the the laser curtain <laughs> the laser tunnel sorry and they're just kind of walking out of it and then walk back into it at the end did confuse me quite a lot it's like doctor who ordered the wedding band here they are there you go and then they went off again <laughs> shower i thought it was a reasonable start but it was very ploddy i don't know he's he, like sean was saying he doesn't really engage with the audience much you just want him to kind of stand still and not just kind of like swing himself about a bit and do that a bit and it just looks like he doesn't necessarily care or believe in what he's actually singing so i've definitely seen worse thank you very much donna we've definitely definitely seen worse <laughs> tell you that now should we have a thumbs up or a thumbs down do you think either of those two are going to represent lithuania at eurovision 2024 you heard it here first. None of those are going to Eurovision 2024. Bye! 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 Bye.